Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Legend series. Today we do have Jeffrey B suggestion. It's Johnny Miller's record 8 under par, 63, and the final round of the 1973 US Open at Oakmont. He won his first major here, one stroke ahead of John Slee. So this is going to be such a difficult challenge, guys. So I am playing off the back tees, which are the longest one, the green one, and pin selection number four. I do hope everyone is well, so sit back, relax, and hopefully I can uh, succeed with this challenge, but it is going to be my toughest challenge to date. So in hole one here, um, Johnny Miller hit a driver, then a three iron to five feet, and he got a birdie three. So I must get off to a good start. I mean, eight under in this course is going to be quite challenging, guys especially in pin set number four and that's a fantastic drive it's a monster drive i've put down there 325 yards okay, looks like we have so i've got 156 to the pin to really downhill just totally lofting this nine iron up guys because the wind should carry me the greens are firm fairways are firm greens breaking off to the left this is sloping off to the right another good execution need the wind to take that round a bit for me this could be really good should bite quite well wow so we didn't get as close as johnny's approach shot he hit his five iron to within his three iron sorry to within five feet i've hit my nine iron to within 13 feet it looks like a good part of it turns and it is so we do match johnny say uh, birdie on the first <clears throat> hole two johnny hit a driver and then a nine iron to it within one foot of the hole unbelievable so let's see if i can match him again let's see if i can get my driver up the left hand side of this bunker it's another great strike for those of you who have recognized i have matched johnny's outfit to perfection and his appearance Johnny had long blonde locks. He was wearing a red top and a grey and black check trousers, which we have matched. So I've got 44 yards. I've got a pitch shot here. That hopefully I can put within to one foot. It's a good execution. I need a bounce here. It's got a bit of backspin there. Unless it's a bit of a slope, I may well have a slight uphill putt here. Seven foot, nothing much in this slight break to the right. And we get it. So I have so far I'm matching Johnny's round birdie birdie. Johnny did start with four consecutive birdies, guys. On hole three here, Johnny hit a driver and then a five iron to within 25 feet. And he drained the pack from 25 feet. It's another good drive. This hole's playing a wee bit longer than what it was back in the 1973 US Open. It was playing, let's and, see, 4-2-5 uh, when Johnny was playing it. I think that said that we were playing 4-3-4. Four, four. So this is going to be a tougher shot. I'm just lofting this up, guys. See if we can get this near the pin and for it to bite. <clears throat> this, one's a beauty. this could be quite good. I'm certainly going to be inside Johnny's approach shot of 25 feet. I'm probably going to have about 12 feet here, I would imagine. Good. Good, good, good. Nine feet. So Johnny drained his 25 footer. Can't I drain my nine? Oh, no, it didn't hold its line. It just veered right, right at the end. I thought that was in. So I'm not going to match Johnny's four opening holes of four consecutive birdies. This will just be a par for me in hole three. And this is, well, if I get this, this is no gimme, guys. Ten footer, breaking to the left. Just going to put a bit of extra pace in this for it to hold its line, and it does. <clears throat> so hole four is a par five here. And Johnny hit a driver, three wood which went into the bunker, and then his bunker shot within to six inches for his birdie four. So let's see if I can match him and get a birdie here. I'm going to have to, guys. 
This is going to be my toughest challenge in the Legends course so far. And once again, thank you to Jeffrey B for his recommendation. Very mild wins. It's another good drive, straight down the middle. But please keep your, your suggestions coming in, guys. I am taking every comment into consideration. There is ones that I've still got to get round to. I am trying to get the best entertaining ones for you, my loyal, fantastic subscribers. So I'm just going to lay up here. Let's have a look at the three wood, fully lofted. Hmm, I think I may still run out, guys. I'll go down to the six wood. See if I can leave myself a pitch shot. But this was Johnny Miller's first ever major win. And it's still a record, guys. Eight under on a final round at Oakmont. In a US Open. So 74 yards. Just lofting this pitch shot up a bit. Yeah, I am on down slope. It's really veered off to the left. Should be good, though. Get in. Get in. Oh, what a shot that is. And we've almost got as close as Johnny's approach shot from the bunker. He was six inches. I was seven inches. So I am three under par. Hole five, Johnny got a par here. It was playing 379 yards. He had a driver and a six iron to 25 feet and he required two putts. So once again, I do have a longer longer hole but it's even and out because i am certainly hitting the ball further than these guys did back in 1973 and once again i execute a good drive i imagine i'll be hitting something like an eight iron maybe even a nine iron into this uh green whereas johnny had to hit a six iron wow i'm a sandwich i didn't realize i was as close as that and loft this up a tiny bit, let the wind carry me. Johnny Pard here, let's see if I can take advantage and get a birdie. It's a good execution. This could be really good. And it is. And I've put that within a foot to two feet away. Three feet. And I do manage to do something that Johnny never done on his final round. And that is a birdie. And that is going to put me to four under. So I am matching him now. We are currently both four under. Hole six is a par three. Playing 195 yards on the day for Johnny. He hit a three iron to 25 foot. And he needed two putts. So very same. So it just shows you I'm hitting a five iron here. Fully lofting this up. Two mile per hour wind. Let's see if we can get this go close. It's a good strike again. Really swinging well at the moment, guys. Really happy with my game. And this could be half decent. Just going to trickle past the pin. Probably about by 15 feet. 17 foot. One foot down. I'm just going to aim this way left and let the slope take this down on these lightning fast greens. The slope's right at the start, really. This could be good, actually. This could be in. Oh, that just missed and no more. And it's probably trickled about three, four feet past. Four feet to the hole, you can do this. Four foot. Far depart and match Johnny's hole. And we do get it. Hole seven. Johnny hit a driver and then a nine iron put to within six foot, but he missed his putt. He missed a six foot putt. He required two putts there, so his round could have been so much better. Let's see if I can match or go one better and get a birdie here. <clears throat> it's another good drive, guys. I am really hitting the ball well just now. Straight down the middle. And 295 yards, we've nailed that. And this next shot's looking to be around 190 yards out. So, five. I'm actually going to have to hit the exact same club here as Johnny. He hit a driver. Oh, and then a nine iron, sorry. So I'm a lot further away. I'm having to hit a six iron here. <clears throat> Once again, great execution. 
this could be good go on ball turn what a golfing shot that is guys i have put that within a three to four foot right, three one foot one pack one. for the birdie to go ahead of johnny and we manage it we manage it i'm not sure i'm going to manage this challenge guys but i will give it my best i need to shoot eight under to match him nine under to better it so i am one ahead johnny on the eighth here took a four wood to 30 foot then he three patted so johnny bogeyed here he got a four on this par three but you can see why it's a monster par three i'm just going to take a bit off of my three wood because my driver will go out of the green so good strike i should get a few good bounces here guys because i did deal off it that should run onto this firm fast green quite well turn ball that's going to run out of green. Why? We must have caught a slope. It's going to ensure I do have a chip. All right, we're in the first cat here. Oh, this is a nasty chip. I'm not taking any chances here, guys. I'm going to fully loft this up and play safe. Let that take it down. Happy with that. Probably going to have a two-foot nice. putt for part. This one for the save. Which we take. All right. So I am five under still. Johnny slipped back down to four under, eh, three under, sorry. So whole night, Johnny had a driver and then a two iron to 40 feet. And he managed two putts. But this was a par five <clears throat> back in 1973. For me, it's just a par four. So that is an advantage to Johnny. And he did take it because he got a birdie. And I've really, once again, played a good drive here, guys. 183 uphill this is the club for me I'm not even touching it just gonna let the wind take me around here hopefully once again fantastic strike the wind and the slope is taking me around beautifully and i need a bounce here which i get it's going to give me a birdie opportunity albeit it's going to be a tough one i'm going to suggest that i'm 10 to 11 feet away here and it looks like it could be quite a tough putt nice, nice. You're on, you're on. For the 12 foot breaking slightly to the right then back to the left oh it's holding its line well and i do match johnny there and get the birdie i got a birdie three johnny got a birdie four johnny went out in 32 i have went out in 29 <clears throat> so I am two shots ahead of Johnny. <clears throat> I do apologise, guys. I've got a right sore throat this morning. <clears throat> so, hole 10. It's playing bang on as what it did in 1973. 462 yards. Johnny Miller had a driver and then a five iron to within 25 feet. And he required two putts to get it for his part so I'm currently two shots ahead of Johnny I am six under he was four under and we have about, I'd say so 139 yards. I'm going to deduct five yards off of this guys so it's playing 134 just taking a little bit off of this wedge hopefully the wind takes me round Oh, I'm way left. Way left of that. How on earth did that happen? The yardage was fantastic, though. And that putt is drifting and trickling away from the hole. It's going to be a long birdie putt. All right, 25 feet, one foot up. Breaking to the left. Oh, guys, what a putt that was for the birdie. Wow. So I am now seven under. And I am only now one birdie away from matching Johnny's 63. So hole 11, Johnny had a driver and then a wedge to 14 feet, which he drained for his birdie. Once again, on the day, playing... Another 12 yards longer for me than what it did in Johnny. But like I say, guys, I am hitting the ball further than what it did back in 1973 with these tour clubs. Probably left an 8 to 9 iron here. All right, looking at a 
It's actually a gap wedge. Up five feet, up five feet, up five yards. Just going to take a tiny bit off of this gap wedge. Alive for the slope and the wind. Put a fast and that's going to be short. That is going to be short. Yeah. Need a bounce. That'll spin back. Yeah. So the fast really penalised me there. Probably took off about six, seven yards. So I need to drain this 29 foot putt to match Johnny's birdie on this hole. I don't feel I've hit this one. It's going to be about six, seven feet short, guys. Could be a bogey here for me. Six footer break into the right. I managed to stay solid over that putt and get a par save. So we're looking good so far. Hole 12. Johnny had a driver, 7 iron, then a 4 iron to 15 feet and drained the birdie for a birdie 4. Let's see if I can match him. Once again, it's playing a lot longer for me. It was playing 603 on the day for Johnny. And I've pushed that left, guys. But I do get a fortunate bounce on the slope. And that has taken that ball right back into the middle of the fairway. 321 yards. So 319 yards to go. Just going to loft up my three wood and see if I can leave myself a pitch shot. It's quite interesting to see that Johnny hit a driver, a, then a seven iron, then a four iron. You think it would be the other way around. You think it would be his driver, four iron, then maybe a seven iron, but it's a strange one. So I'm actually a lot closer than I would have liked, but I'll try this. Pitch shot, 34 yards. Let's see if we can get this close. Just lofting this up. Try and get it bouncing past the pin and then spinning back a bit. That could be a bit long, you know. I need spin. No, it's not going to hold at all. And this is going to be a long birdie putt here, guys. I could be losing out to Johnny here. I've got an 18-foot putt here for my birdie. He had a 15 foot. Nah, that's way left. So that, unfortunately, is just going to be a par. So I have lost ground there. So, believe it or not, wow, guys, we are, at this stage of the round, we were both seven under. Johnny pars the next hole, which is a par 40. Uh, no, sorry, we're not. Johnny birdied the 13th to put him to seven under. That would match me. So, unless I birdie this, we will both be at the exact same Score on the exact same hole. One eight one six irons a club. Up five feet. Happy with this. Just going to loft it up a trickle. That's a great. Oh, I put a fast on that. I put a fast on that. That could be way short now. Yeah, that fast has just kind of done me out a few, few yards there. I would imagine. Johnny played a four iron with to within five feet here. I've got a 19 foot putt for my birdie. He drained his for his birdie too. It's a tricky putt. It's breaking both ways. Looks good though. Looks good though. Yes. And I do drop that. And that does get me to 8 under par guys. So if I can maintain this. We will have matched Johnny's round. But let's see if we can go one better and beat him. So hole 14. Johnny parred this one. And Johnny is currently one shot behind me on the day. He was seven under. It's a good swing. Really happy why I'm swinging, guys. I've got no complaints about the game. The game is playing so smooth for me lately. I take my hats off to HB Studios. So 300 yards, I'm gonna have a pitch shot. Johnny hit a driver, then a wedge to 12 feet, but he required two putts and he got a par on this hole. I'm hopefully going to put my pitch to within three to four or five, six feet maybe. Put a slow, shouldn't really affect me too much on the pitch shot. And that's worked out quite nice. Probably going to have about a six foot putt for birdie. And this will put me one ahead of Johnny Miller's score if I can drain it. <clears throat> and we do so guys, I am now nine under. I'll be honest, before I started the round... <clears throat> I was quietly confident, but I didn't know I would manage it. This is a tough course, especially in pin selection number four. 
Hole 15, Johnny birdies. He hits a driver, four iron to within 10 feet and drains a putt for a birdie three. Let's see if I can match it. Once again, this is playing a lot longer than what it did on the day. This was playing 453 yards for Johnny, 504 for me. It's a good drive again, though. So 192, Johnny hit a 4 iron here to within 10 feet, I'm hitting a 5 iron, let's see if we can match him. It's going to slope off slightly to the right. I don't feel that slope's took me as far right as I anticipated it's not, so I'm going to be way left of the pin here. Yardage was pretty good. Probably going to be a pin high putt, but I'm probably going to be about 30 feet away here. 22 feet, pin high, 4 inches down, breaking to the right. This is a tough putt. Nah, never turning. I've maybe put that about 3 feet past. So, Johnny was 8 under here at this stage. He got his birdie. And that would have put him to 8 under for the record at Oakmont. Okay, so that'll keep you at... And a US Open. So, hole 16 is a par 3. Johnny hit a 2 iron to 45 feet. Wow. And then he required 2 putts for his par. Let's see if we can get this closer. It was playing longer in the day for Johnny. He had 230 yards. I've got 218. So, I am hitting my hybrid. Johnny hit a 2 iron. Okay, I'm just going to draw this round, guys, and see if we can get this going right at the pin. The bunker is in our distance. That wind's taking me round. The draw didn't hold. Oh, and I've got a nasty kick. This could be a dangerous situation now. Why? I will definitely be chipping this. I'm not attacking a pin, guys. I just want to get it up there and give myself an opportunity of a power save. Needs to bounce and bite. Oh, I played it well. I have played that well. And I've probably got about a three foot putt for par. Escaped from the beach. Nothing in this at all. I do manage to get the save, guys. Really happy with that bunker shot. That could have went so wrong there. So let's move on to hole 17, which is a short par four. It was playing 322 for Johnny. 297 for me. So I'm at a huge advantage this hole, especially with the tour clubs. I reckon I could drive this, guys, or at least be just short of the green. It is an uphill green. That needs a bounce. I'll kick out of here, surely. That's a great drive. Johnny hit a one iron here, then a wedge to 10 feet, but he required two putts from the 10 feet. And he obviously got his par four. Let's see if I can chip this in, or at least set myself up for a birdie. Turn, didn't turn. I did hit, put a fast on that, but that slope killed the power. But thankfully, I've got a straightforward six foot putt from my birdie. It put me 10 under. And this will have be two shots better than Johnny if it turns. Yes. So, guys, it looks like bar a disaster on the 18th. I am going to succeed this very tough challenge. Toughest challenge yet on the Legend series. Hole 18, Johnny got a par, he had a driver, a 5 iron to 20 feet, and then required 2 putts. Once again, fantastic drive, I've been flawless off the tee box today guys. Should bounce down the fairway well, just be short of 300 yards. We've actually passed 300 yards, 303 yards that's going to check up at. So 193. 22 feet uphill, nasty green, I'm just looking to bounce into the slope, take the power out of it and then see if we can just get it running up ever so slightly towards the pin, tough pin position as well. The wind's been really kind to me guys this round, I would expect double figures wind, this might not have been achievable, this could be really good, hit the slope, it has, oh it's veering right, it's veered right in the pin. I do have another birdie opportunity here though. 
This would put me to 11 under if I can drain this 7 footer break into the left. Looks good. Wow guys, what a round that was for me. I am so happy with that round there. Um, thank you very much to Jeffrey B for the selection. If there's any more legends you guys would like to see, please post it in the comment section. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, guys, please hit the subscribe button. That is it for today. I will see you all in the next one. Take care and peace out. Bye.